different reasons. So let's let's go through this list and perform a little bit of a triage on this. So I'd like to start with um, with this unignored issue first, because uh, why, why? Well, let's, yeah, let's start with the unignored issue and see why that happened. So if I normally what I would have to do before within Century is click into each issue to get the issue details and see what that issue was about and why that issue was, uh, you know, why this issue happened. But now take a look at this. I have some hover over, over this that shows my stack trace. So we, we've introduced this concept of stack trace preview within the issues list and within the reviews list. And now we don't have to click into an issue anymore to see where this happened and why. Um, this will this will make your review so much so much faster and easier. So I can come in here and expand the issue uh, the the stack link, and I can see that where this issue happened within the context of the code. But oh, check this out! I can now link your stack trace to your source code. Well, that's cool. Um, not only can I take a look at the stack trace uh, within here, but now I can I can link that to my to my code within my source control. And and see exactly where it's happening. So why don't we, why don't we do that real quick? Uh, when I, when I click this, I'm I'm invited to either use automatic setup or manual setup. I'm going to choose automatic with the magic Hollywood here. I have the URL for my code, and I will go ahead and enter that and submit it. And now I have mapped this stack trace to the code within my within my source control. So. If I, if I hover over this now and click this review, I can open this line in GitHub and bingo, I'm, I'm now into this and, and can review this exactly where it happens and exactly within the context of what, what is going on.